Hello YouTube, it's Peter Gaming Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. So in today's video we'll be looking at the Resident Evil 3 Remake demo. Now this is my very first playthrough of the demo and of this game. I didn't get the chance to play the Resident Evil 3 game back on the PS1 as I thought it was far too scary but this is my very first playthrough of the game and demo and my thoughts of a first time player of the game. Before we get into this demo playthrough as you'll see in the background I'll leave the full playthrough for you to enjoy. As always, let me know your thoughts down below of the game. Did you play the original back on the PS1? Or is this the first time, like me, you've played this game slash demo? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I love to read and find out what my audience think of the videos that I make. But anyway, that being said, let's jump into the Resident Evil 3 Remake Demo. Unlike the last Resident Evil 2 Remake Demo, this demo is replayable, so you can replay it as many times as you want, and you aren't limited to 30 minutes. So you, this playthrough of mine, I took my time, I explored as much as I could and find, and yeah, so uh, for that being said, that is a first bonus of this remake demo. I thought it was good that you could take your time, explore, you didn't have to rush to the end of the demo to try and basically rush your experience. I took my time with the demo, I looked at all the different sort of things around me, tried to use the environment to help me on this demo. So first of all, the graphics, the graphics when you start off in the sort of, the train station and you're talking to Carlos and the the guy from the sort of order or whatever the rushing dude you're chatting Jill's making some sarcastic cool comments or attitudes quite awesome to be honest anyway so you play as Jill you're in the underground in the sort of train station but looking around tiles on the walls were look like real tiles the graphics in this game are incredible just looking at the boxes with the cling film wrap on them that looked really realistic and if I know how that feels you know what I mean and also if you're looking down on the ground the lighting reflecting of sort of water puddles in the station that was really realistic as well so that's really fantastic graphics the lighting very atmospheric it made me feel very atmospheric as though I was actually there in the raccoon city the, the lighting is incredible there's some there's some really dark dingy corridors and streets which make you feel sort of really sort of scared and intense and feel like oh no you feel like you're there and you feel quite scared but then you've got beautiful sort of bright vibrant colors of like the shop signs and just fires burning and it oh, just feels fantastic very atmospheric the lighting is incredible so yeah, if, as you can see the gameplay in the background there. Um, so now we're going to talk about Nemesis. Now personally, I don't have any experience with Nemesis. I thought Mr. X in Resident Evil 2 was quite scary when you first approach him in that th really thin corridor. You can dodge him, he sort of swings at you. You can get around him. It's quite scary when you're in the police area of the first part of the game. You hear footsteps, whereas with this guy, this guy can jump in front of you. He's got his tentacles to grapple you back. He's got his fists, he's very fast in this game and that is sort of quite giving me sort of the panic. I think this game is going to be very very difficult because Nemesis can fight back, he's got the weapons and he's very quick, he can block you off very quickly so you've got to be very strategic and I think multiple playthroughs of this demo and or game will be necessary to get the platinum for this. Obviously I don't know what the trophies are at this moment but Nemesis seems very quick, very agile, quite sort of big and overpowering but the only thing is, well a couple of things, one obviously I didn't play the original so I don't really know what it looked like previously but in this game he's almost like dressed in like black bag and doesn't look very realistic. He looks very scary but it's dressed in black bags and just the look of him doesn't he feel as scary as it probably should have been. But the face looks off to me. But apart from that he's a very big over empowering brute that's coming for you at every opportunity so that sort of makes your sort of senses sort of heightened in a way. So Nemesis is going to be a big problem in this game. It's going to be a very difficult game I think and so we're talking of difficulty and obviously going to talk about the zombies next so I thought there's a lot more movements with the zombies sort of lurking backwards and forwards to the left and right. There seem to be a lot more character models of the zombies in this demo compared to the Resident Evil 2 demo and game, which is a good thing. I did cry out in, the, in my video of Resident Evil 2 demo that I wanted to see more character models. This looks like there is more character models. Could be wrong with that, but from what I saw with the, the gameplay, there was more character models, which is good. Zombies are always going to be bullet sponges, which is annoying, but the, you have, in terms of the gameplay, you have got the ability to dodge, which I think is a good addition from the Resident Evil 2 game and remake. The ability to dodge is very difficult. I tried it a couple times and it was quite hard to dodge perfectly. Now if you dodge perfectly you get like a flash on the screen that lets you know that you've dodged perfectly and then if you quickly aim you can go around and shoot the zombie in the head or just shoot the zombie which I think is quite a good addition as you I think this dodge functionality will be needed in this game as you'll be going down very narrow streets and you'll probably get blocked off by either Nemesis or other zombies very quickly. So ammo and you're a 
abilities will be will play a big part in this and also I love the fact that you have limited ammo and the inventory management is a big part also in the Resident Evil game so I've played Resident Evil 2 Remake and obviously there's demo now so that is going to be crucial in beating areas very quickly you can just run past the zombies or nemesis uh, after a couple of attempts or you can very strategically take one zombie down try and find ammo herbs whatever take another zombie down you can use the explosive barrels the red barrels so iconic in this game and many other games you shoot it you blow up a lot of zombies at once so and also there's electrical traps that you can shoot throughout the demo and probably the game that sort of stuns the zombies for a, a brief second to let you run past which is quite a good idea in terms of gameplay I think those two elements as well as making sure you've got enough ammo and healable items is also going to be very crucial in trying to beat this game so yeah in terms of the puzzles the obviously Resident Evil is famous for puzzles I think there was one in a safe room to do with like a big sort of grandfather clock type thing in the corner you weren't able to interact with it and yeah so I think the puzzles are going to be excellent I can't wait to try out the puzzles as I said this is my very first playthrough of this game which you will see the full playthrough in the background I'll let you watch the full length playthrough that I took and how many deaths I did and how many of these wee collectible characters that I found in the demo it says there's 20 of them to collect I've seen online there's people that only collected 14 and the other six you have to collect them by doing certain items or doing certain things in the demo which I have no idea what to do I won't despoil how many I found in the demo but I like the idea of collectibles in Resident Evil DM obviously you have to loot in all the nooks and crannies around uh, all parts of the different areas of the demo and the game to find them I think it's fun but there will be a, probably a guide eventually when the game comes out for them and finally this part of the demo will be spoilery so if you've not played the demo now these items that I'm going to see in this demo will probably change for the final release of the game but in this demo there's a safe in one of the rooms and the code to the safe is 918 now you can find this in the pharmacy there's a big poster of a naked lady with the sort of phone number across the bottom right hand corner and three of the numbers have red circles around each of the numbers so 918 for the safe and you, I won't tell you exactly what item you get it's very helpful I would say it's helpful for more accurate shots with the pistol but anyway that's that and also if you die more than once you get the option to lower the difficulty to assisted mode now if you go to assisted mode in the demo you won't see it in this playthrough because I didn't realize that at the time only went back through and played it again and you get the assault rifle for the demo obviously this will probably change and be different in the final game but I thought that's quite a good way of randomly stumbling across a fantastic weapon which you will probably have to beat the game under a certain number of hours to get maybe the assault rifle or maybe other weapons in the game so anyway that has really been my thoughts on the demo I thought the graphics and I thought the general demo was absolutely incredible genuinely can't wait to play it when it releases on 3rd of April 2020 as always I'm a massive fan massive new fan of the franchise let me know if you've played the original demo or the original game on the PS1 versus will you be picking this up let me know your thoughts down below on how this current demo relates or compares to the original game as always that is the end of today's video thank you very much indeed for watching I've been Patreon Game in Scotland and I'll see you on another video thanks very much indeed guys bye bye Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Gotta put this out.